Hey guys, I'm back with the next video. We're gonna start on the food prep and I've got all my things ready. So we'll do it as efficiently and quickly as we can. We'll start by slicing the onion into rings. Then after I got them sliced into rings, I'm gonna just drop them into my bowl where everything's gonna be combined except for the pork and the cherry puree. That will go in at a later time into the pouch when we're actually doing the food pouch assembly, which will occur in another video. But I've got my onion rings. And the next thing I'll do is my apple. I'm trying to give those sweet potatoes a little time to cool because they're a little bit hot. So I use my apple slicer. And that helps me remove the core easily and get them into slices to work with more efficiently. So now we're just going to chop the apple, dice it, and I'm leaving the skin on the apple for this because it will taste just fine and there's a lot of healthy nutrients we get from the skins of our fruit. Now if that apple slicer and core had not done this and cleaned it real well, we would have had to peel out some of those visible seeds. But that time, it did fine. So now I've got the apple done, and it will go into my mixing bowl. And I guess I'll take the carrots next. I've par cooked those a little because those are another vegetable that take a long time to to get done, whether it's in a slow cooker or the oven or wherever. But these are baby carrots, so, so they're small anyway, so I'm just gonna slice them in half just to make them bite size. That's the goal with this. We're getting there, almost got them. Okay, so now I've got my carrots into bite-sized pieces and I'm gonna put those into the mixing bowl. And let me see, the next thing we need is, I guess the sweet potato. I'm gonna cut the edges of the sweet potato off and then I'm gonna peel them This is taking some time, so we'll see. I may not do all three potatoes on camera. But I've got the, there, I've got it peeled. Now I'm just gonna dice this. I guess peeling was the hardest part on those potatoes. Let me try to do another one.
it's still a little warm to hold because I did par cook them, but I am able to hold on to it. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, if you were in a hurry, you could put the potato in ice for a little while while you're doing the other veggie prep so that you definitely can hold it while you're working with it. Okay, so I got the next potato. We'll get it chopped into small pieces. Okay, I have one more to do, which, let me see if I can get this skin out of my way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it done. Okay, I've got it peeled. So like I say, the goal on these potatoes, as well as the carrots, were to get them to bite-sized pieces. And I think I've succeeded with that on these potatoes. So now they go into the bowl. So now I have Apple, sweet potato, carrots, and onion in the mixing bowl where I'm going to toss those around. Just one second, I'll be right back. I'm going to get rid of some things out of my way. Okay, so the next step is I've got my Kerrygold. This is butter that was spreadable. But I took some, about a tablespoon or two, and I've melted it, so I'm gonna pour it on top. And now I wanna add a couple of things. I wanna add a little bit of brown sugar. Probably an eighth to a quarter of a cup. It's just a guess, according to your tastes. And then I want to add in some cinnamon. I don't measure, I just guess. And then a little bit of allspice. Allspice is a great spice to go with pork. Okay, so I got those in. Now what I want to do, because I've coated that, I've put the butter, melted butter in there, but I want to toss this stuff around. So that everything is well coated. And this is how our mixture that's going to go into the bottom of the foil pouch will look. And then the pork chop will lay on top and then we'll put some of the cherry puree on top of the pork chop. So I'm excited to move to the next video and show you guys how to make the cherry puree. So we'll see you there in the next segment. Thanks.